Salutations wet shavers, Spencer here for an exciting shave um, today. I'm going to be using West Coast Shaving. I've been seeing it pop up a lot lately, especially on obviously West Coast Shaving's YouTube. Um, and I've been seeing a lot of them get passed around to different YouTubers. Um, I wasn't one of them. Kai kindly sent one over to me, Kai Trisco. Go check him out. He does um, some of the daily shave for West Coast Shaving. And really close friend of mine. Um, he sent me this, Cologne. So this is going to be my review on West Coast Shaving Cologne. Now this is a dark fat um, formula, which is made by Oleo Soapworks, and I have used it before. I've used the Canard formula. I'm not sure if it's been altered compared to the one I've got. Uh, it's the smoke on the water scent. I did not like it at the start, uh, but then it started, I started really enjoying it for some reason. The more I went back and smelt it, the more I enjoyed it. And I've bloomed the soap. I never normally bloom soaps, but I wanted to really try and get more out of the scent. Because once again, I smelt this, wasn't totally sold on it, straight up. And um, I have a soap that smells very similar and I cannot think of it. But the uh, scent description is nice and basic, which I like. Um, and it's very accurate. So it says here, a dark, mossy, floral scent. And that's absolutely nailed it. Dark, uh, mossy, florals. Yeah, it's quite green. It's a beautiful scent. I, I, I really do like it. When I first smelt it, didn't enjoy it. Because um, when I hear cologne, I was expecting a really, you know, sort of, not fine American blend, but, you know, really sort of powdery masculine cologne. It's just not that. It's more of a fougere to me than anything, which maybe could be what it's based on, a fougere cologne. Anyway, so yeah, the scent, it, it's good. And it's gotten better since when I first smelt it out of the puck because for some reason that's how my brain wants to work. So anyway, what else are we using in the shave? I'm gonna be using the Dorian Ebonite shave brush. This thing is incredible. So it's made out of Ebonite, absolutely beautiful. Um, made by Dorian, uh, Dorian Crafts. Check him out on Instagram, his stuff's insane. His new starlets look awesome. Um, and basically, if you want the most gelled tips that you've ever seen on shaving brush, you need one of these. I mean, this shit's all over declaration, I'm not going to lie, um, in terms of gelled tips. Uh, it's not super dense. It hasn't got a heap of backbone, which I've really been enjoying lately because I've been favoring the three bands. So just keep that in mind. Um, it hasn't got a very high loft anyway. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's not super dense. See how it sort of sags? Um, it's perfect for me. I really enjoy it, but oh, the tips just gel like crazy. Um, so yeah, we're going to be using those. We are going with just a simple GD208. This is the only other sh um, straight razor I've got at the moment. The others have been honed by Russell Barton. They'll be on their way pretty soon. Um, this was honed up by, a, I think is a stonemason. Um, Dan here, he lives really close to me. Um, he does marble restoration, so he's, he's not new to stones. So he honed this up for me. Really, really nice. I've given it uh, 30 laps on the Chromox, because uh, I just want a little bit more sharpness out of it. So 30 laps on the Chromox, fingers crossed that'll do me. Um, now I've got a mad ingrown hair from yesterday, and um, it's just there. I pulled it out just before, uh, that's why it's sort of seeping. It's gross. Um, so I want to use Barbado. I want to make sure that I uh, stop stop that in its tracks. I'm going to add the bloom water to the face now. Oh. Now I wanted to move over to shaving every three days, but I'm not going to get the chance to in the next few days. So I wanted to shave now while I had the chance. Wonderful. A little bit more. Man, it's been ages since I've done this. I used to do this all the time when I first started shaving, because uh, I watched Nick Shaves, and obviously that's one of his main things, adding the bloom water to the face. Um, and then I started experimenting, you know, not using bloom water, and I didn't notice a big difference. And I, I don't know if I will. Probably not, but it's always nice to add to the ritual, I think. All right, super slick stuff. Hard to get off the off the hands. 
Very nice. All right. Flick out the excess on the brush and just start loading away. I'm gonna give it a nice heavy load. I know how thirsty this formula is. Um, it's a very, very thirsty formula. Uh, I think even on the canard bases, on the labels, I think it says um, very thirsty soap. I'm pretty sure, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. All right. Seems like a good enough load. Even the load is just sheeny to the max. So I'm expecting really good things of this. Fingers crossed it is. I can't remember how much they're selling this for on West Coast Shaving. A lot of extra excess moisture in that brush because I didn't take a lot out. This soap is handling it with ease. I mean, look at that. It's lather straight up. Already done. Super sheeny already. Really, really good. Lather quality. Well, you don't really see it get much better than that, so... Not much higher marks I can give that. That's fantastic. Residual slickness, even just on the hands, feels incredible. This is going to be a, a wicked shave, I know that. I've got a big coffee for once. Normally I've got my little, small, really strong coffees. Now I've got a big, extra strong coffee. Um, I'm driving out to the girlfriend's tonight, which is like a 40, 45 minute drive. So, want a nice big coffee to last me the way. All right, let's get this cracking. Oh, beautiful. It's quite edgy, which I expected because, you know, heaps of laps on the uh, Chromox really livens things up, which I really enjoy. So if you're not used to a super sharp edge, I think I got used to them just while using Shavettes and I've just become accustomed to it. And then when I had straights that weren't like that, it didn't feel as good to me. This has more flex than the electric razor that I have. That, that one feels way more stable. Um, must be a, a thicker grind. But yeah, now this feels really nice. <laughs> Kyle, over at Brown Man Shaves. Mate, if you haven't sort of delved into Chromox, really worth checking into. Um, seriously, I probably didn't even need to send the uh, razors to Russell. I could have just smashed them on the Chromox. Oh, well, it gives me ex an excuse to uh, get another massive mail call from him, so... When I placed... That blade on there just then, it literally landed right on that spot. Right on the um, that ingrown hair. As you can see, literally just <laughs> straight onto it. Which one's better, this or the electric razor? Definitely the electric razor. The edge still feels incredible, but it's the grind.
Man, this thing will uh, be awesome with a few days growth. Just gonna do a two pass shave by the way, nothing too crazy. I've been preferring sort of uh, sort of doing the shorter videos. And while my uh, straight, straight razor shaves have been getting better and better, so they're getting faster and faster, which is great. All right, back to the Dorian. Man, this thing took so much water. And it can still take a heap more. I can feel how dense it is. That was a big dip of water and another big dip of water. Definitely thirsty than probably 80% of artisans. Ones off the top of my head um, that I think are probably just as thirsty. Wild West Shaving Company. Um, a and E's pretty thirsty, but not quite. Just a little bit thirstier than that. Declaration Grooming's pretty thirsty as well. Um, yeah, this Canard formula. Really thirsty stuff. All right, we're gonna do cross grain to the nose. Just ignore, ignore that. <laughs> User error. Mm. All righty. Saw that it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video as well because I grew out my hair, uh, the facial hair for three days and then I did a live on Facebook. So if you're not on It's Just Shaving Facebook group, jump on it. I'm on there lots. So. Damn, that bump is uh, really annoying me, eh? <laughs> Keep sort of juddering over it. Smart person would just not shave over it, but... Still got a load more improvement uh, on the straight razor front. Beautiful. Does feel really nice, but oh damn. Annoying thing. <laughs> Get under the chin. Wonderful. Missing much? Not really. It's quite close. Wonderful. 
I'm gonna leave it at that. Man, the performance on that soap really is great. That's really good quality soap. Um, man, I wish I um, looked up the prices before I got on here. I'll um, hopefully, if I remember, I'll add a link in the description on uh, where to get this uh, this run of soap. They do a cream as well, which is based on Katie's Bubbles formula, which is pretty good. Um, but I would definitely put my vote to uh, the duck fat canard. Um, just overall, unless Katie's Bubbles is a little bit cheaper, I'm not, I'm not too sure. But either way, my vote would definitely go to the canard formula. All right, I'm gonna just alum all on this area here. Just because I don't know how to take it easy, go hard or go home, eh? <laughs> Something that I use on things like that um, is Ten Skin. Patrick, <laughs> I remember this time, buddy. Uh, originally recommended this to me, and I'm almost out. I use this quite a bit. Whenever I get a major spot um, that I don't think Barbado could fix, Barbado is mainly for the irritation, but for the ingrown hairs, once they come up, I normally open them up, um, pull out the ingrown hair if I can, and then just by my finger I apply tan skin. So I'll just like put my finger over the top, do like that, just leave it on the finger and then just dab it on the, uh, the trouble spot. And it works really well for me. It stings quite a lot. Um, don't use it like an aftershave because it'll kill. Um, and it's very expensive. Squeeze that beautiful leather out. Um, yeah, it is quite expensive. I think I bought that one bottle for like $20 or something. And I think it's like the same price for Barbado and it's double the size. Um, but yeah, so it's really good just for, um, you know, just your one or two trouble spots, you know. Look at the, look at the tips. Just incredible. All right. Cold water rinse. And I'll get the Barbado on the face. See, Manny's back doing videos. Awesome to see you back on the screen, mate. Hope you're doing well. All right, nice big old splash of Barbado. My favorite aftershave. Oh, little bit of burn today. <laughs> oh yeah. That's the stuff. Oh, best aftershave. <laughs> I know I say it all the damn time. Um, this is like Chris with his calf, is me with Barbado, and while we're shaving company. <laughs> oh, I really do want to minimize my den. Like I was thinking about it. And I would love to have a simplified den. And what that would be is a small brush, probably probably this little bad boy. Little tiny 20mm or 22mm Shave Mac DO13 band with some Wild West Shaving Company soap, Barbado, and I don't know, some nice vintage straight razor. That would just be like my go-to, that's my go-to shave gear. Small brushes for me have just absolutely excelled. I love them now. Absolutely love them. So I think from now on, the max I'll go is 24 mil. It's still nice to have my really boutique -y ones like my chubby, chubby three Manchurian there. Um, 26 mil Shave Mac. Those two are beautiful. Then I've got a Declaration B1, which is a 33 mil at the back there, but they're just for special occasions, but for daily use, those smaller brushes are just awesome. Like like those those three there. Oh, there we are. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to be like a weatherman, just like that one, that one, 
and that one. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Well, uh, well West, West Coast shaving. Absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed this soap. Um, the quality is really good. So that there are absolutely no qualms about the quality. It's about the price and it's about the scents. So look at the scents if there's any that you would like. Um, I definitely recommend buying them because I guarantee you the performance will not disappoint. I guarantee you. You, you will not use that and go, eh. Like, it's really good stuff. Um, probably the one I would go for the most. I thought it was going to be cologne, but after getting it, eh, it's alright. Um, Oriental would probably be my, my go-to, I think. God, that smells good. Smells really nice in the brush. Really nice. Dorian GD208. West Coast Shaving. Barbado. Wicked Shave. Hope you guys have wicked shaves yourselves. <laughs> Stay positive. Keep smiling, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.